So this product made me want to have beef with the ordinary. Keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, hey, my name is Mo. I'm a pharmacist, toxicologist, and safety assessor. In this channel, we love to talk about skincare and the science behind skincare in a very moderate way we don't have big yeses or big noes we just like to nerd out and see the science behind ingredients and product and to see if those products and ingredients can help us achieve a healthier looking skin so before starting this video i have three amazing good news one is that congratulations to all of us we surpassed 1000 subscribers on youtube and we uh, deserve to celebrate this as a whole as a whole small family who like to nerd out about skincare the second exciting news is that we uh, are going to do a q a soon so i will answer all your questions so whether it's skincare related or not about studying abroad studying in italy pharmacy school master degree right now and everything in between to know each other more so if you have any question please also put them in the comments down in those in this video i also mentioned this on my last uh, shorts that i posted on the channel also if you posted your question there you can also post them here if you have any extra question and the third most amazing news for today before starting this video is that i created a small online shop yes you heard of that right i created some kind of nerdy sciencey design some related to skincare some not related to skincare i will put the, this, uh, the link in the description below it's about design that i can put on t-shirt phone cases water bottle bags socks pants whatever you can check the link in the description and if you want to buy or purchase anything it will support my channel to produce more uh, high quality content in the near future so today we are going to discuss and analyze of course according to the most scale uh, an interesting product by the ordinary it's the uh, vitamin c 23 percent uh, vitamin c suspension plus two percent uh, hyaluronic acid spheres so this video is going to be a little bit short because the product is quite simple it contains L-ascorbic acid as vitamin C with concentration of 23% and also some interesting technology with hyaluronic acid I will explain it later in the video 2% uh, using uh, a kind of sphere technology okay let's start with the scientific part analysis this product contain a very minimal uh, kind of formula if we looked at the ingredient list we can understand that it only contained mostly two active ingredients which is of course the l-ascorbic acid uh, the vitamin c and the uh, hyaluronic acid which is in uh, sodium hyaluronate the first one of course l-ascorbic acid l-ascorbic acid is the true form of vitamin c it's not a, der a derivative and it's backed by a lot of research uh, compared to the other vitamin c derivative when it comes to efficacy and giving us the benefit of vitamin c as we all know we, i don't have to repeat myself vitamin c is amazing for the skin i personally don't use it because i already have a very simple skincare routine i mentioned that and i mentioned that a lot in my previous video showing my minimal skincare routine because it works for me adding extra ingredients or active doesn't mean have to give me a better result i'm happy with the current results so if i needed vitamin c in the future of course i will look up for a product that contain l ascorbic acid as a true vitamin c we all know the benefit of vitamin c it works as an antioxidant it works as anti-pigmentation it helps the cell to fight off the uh, damage of the uv rays it helps to repellish other antioxidant inside the skin there is a lot of studies and data to support these claims i will put of course all the studies and the screenshot of course the links will be down below so if you want to dig deeper on those studies so vitamin c in this formula is at concentration of 23 percent actually the active concentration that would give us a uh, a kind of a good result and it was used in a lot of papers is between 10 and 20 percent so 23 percent won't give us a lot of extra benefit but it might be giving us a little bit of side effect of irritation because 23 percent is a quite high percentage so the anti-aging effect of vitamin c is thanks to its ability to interact with transcription factor that are able to induce the production of collagen type 
type 1 and 3 and it was shown in this study I will put the screenshot and this will help the skin to produce more collagen collagen is so important when it comes to anti-aging because it's very important element in the extracellular matrix which is the matrix that hold the skin cells together as a sponge and it helps to give the skin a more youthful look so if we looked at the an, uh, an aged skin and a youthful skin we will notice a very significant difference when it comes to the collagen amounts between the youthful skin which will be a higher amount compared to the aged skin so having vitamin c in your skincare routine will help you your skin to produce more uh, collagen by interacting with those transcription factors and vitamin C as well will help your skin replenish its own antioxidant potential because we all have a natural antioxidant in our skin one of those is vitamin E because a lot of studies showed that there is a synergetic effect between vitamin C and vitamin E because vitamin C is able to bring the uh, vitamin e to its active state so vitamin e when it's encounter a free radical it will uh, in a way deactivate it but vitamin c helps this uh, uh, vitamin e to activate again and work on another free radical and lastly when it comes to pigmentation vitamin c is a hero as well because vitamin c uh, as its chemical structure is able to interact with the copper ion inside the enzyme called tyrosinase tyrosinase is the enzyme responsible for the production of melanin which is the brown to black pigment that give our skin the color and help the, our skin to uh, fight off the uh, damage uh, rays of the sun so by inhibiting uh, this enzyme the vitamin c is able to put a halt to the production of melanin and help with the situation of hyperpigmentation that could happen due to uv damage let's talk about the second ingredients of this product which is the of course hyaluronic acid they use kind of a new technology it's not actually new but it's something interesting they used what it's called hyaluronic acid spheres what is it to simplify it it's just a, a salt of hyaluronic acid as here uh, sodium hyaluronate uh, infused with another polysaccharides called uh, glucmanan which is infused together and dried out to give this small spheres a dried out sphere when applied to the skin and interacting with the moisture of the skin it will help uh, smooth out the skin and deliver hyaluronic acid to the uh, dry areas of the skin it will help with the uh, uh, of course hydration and making those tiny fine lines a little bit smoother it's a, a fine technology but in this formulation I will talk in the part of real life performance why it's not working looking at the ingredient list that we just uh, discussed and analyzed it's very simple very straightforward I would give it a 3.5 out of 5 beakers because there is a quite of data to support the a very good benefit of uh, using topical uh, L-ascorbic acid specifically as a form of vitamin C and of course we know the active uh, benefit of hyaluronic acid as well so uh, this will give me also uh, a, um, a point to show you that looking at the active ingredients list or looking at the ingredient list in general would only give you very small amount of information but when it comes to formulation there's where the magic actually happened that you cannot tell from the actual uh, ingredient list now to the second part of the uh, analysis of this product is the real life performance and oh my god when i tell you this is a not i hate to use this kind of words that to say okay it's a terrible product but it to simplify it and be as not as nice as possible it did not work for me and this product i didn't buy it was gifted one of my best friends hey joviana if you are watching she gave it to me and she told me no it's not going to work for me and i said okay let me try it and i wanted to give it a full month but i couldn't it's uh, the most uncosmetically um, I don't know how to say it it's not very elegant when it applied to the skin it gives very gritty very sandy feeling it's literally 
described as the liquid sandpaper and I tried everything to make it work. I applied it on a dry skin, on a wet skin, mixed it with the serums, mixed it with moisturizer, applied too much, applied too little and it didn't work. It has a very greasy, um, uh, thick feeling that it's hard to spread out although it's very uh, watery in a way and those kind of hyaluronic acid spheres I hope those are the cause of this because it's very uh, like I said sandy like when you apply it to the skin you feel something scratching out your skin which is not a very good feeling and I'm I'm sure it's not very good for your skin and it's not something that I would repurchase at all and I would give it actually uh, one out of five happy most faces. I will show you the videos right now. As you can see here, it's um, to say the least, it's messy. It takes so much time to blend in. It leaves a greasy feeling that lasts at least a few hours. And I tried, like I said, with everything, but unfortunately it's not a very successful product and a lot of people maybe with a dry skin may be beneficial from it but to be honest i'm not very hopeful because my friend who gave it to me she has a dry skin but she couldn't handle it to be honest because it's so greasy and looking at the ingredient list i kind of suspected this but i was like okay let me try it 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 is very heavy in emollients it's very heavy with uh, things that give that greasy feeling without anything else to lighten up the formula like for example alcohol with which is everybody afraid of which is not the case and uh, it's uh, as it said in the website the ordinary it's also said that it's um, a water free formula because it help us to stabilize the vitamin C because it's very sensitive to humidity and air and temperature it oxidizes super fast and lose its benefit so they try to make it as much as water free and you can feel that to be honest and they also said that it's kind of uh, heavy on the skin so and they may be intense for the beginner so they even mentioned that you can dilute it with other serum and moisturizer i tried this but it's not working unfortunately so this was my video for uh, this week i hope you guys enjoyed it so please don't forget to like subscribe and comment as i say always in, at the end of my videos leave any comments to have a discussion and talk about skincare don't forget to uh, give me your question and if you reach until this point of this video it's a secret i will do it so i know who is watching the video until the end please leave a dinosaur emoji i will know then that you are a super fan and a super friend of this family and you watch the whole video and don't forget like i said to mention your question for the soon to be a q a video and don't forget to check my small online store if you like anything you can purchase and support my channel and i see you in the next week please stay safe and get vaccinated and i see you in the next week bye